There is gonna be like a huge bubble burst on this shit. This is not a uh, mind-blowing thought, and I'm sure lots of people are talking about this, and I'm just an idiot and haven't seen it, but the internet, the dot-com bubble, that's what it was called, right? Around the, the turn of the millennium, the dot-com bubble was a huge thing, and like, I think it's worth noting there is a separation between the technology that AI is and what it represents, the dangers that it poses, the issues that it's causing, the issues with what is possible because of compute computation limitations and environmental limitations, blah, blah, that crap. All of that is interesting, very sci-fi, some of it's scary, some of it's concerning. All of that is very real. But the you're spot on, I think, that the business side is, it's another like dot-com bubble type thing where it's like, yeah, the, the technology is going to change fundamentally how like yeah. how jobs work, how life is for people in general going yeah. forward. It's probably going to impact almost everything, if not everything, that we experience. But the businesses are, there's not, it's unsustainable. There is going to be, like, a huge bubble burst on this shit, huh? Because I'm willing to bet they're all borrowing. I guarantee you they're all borrowing like crazy, leveraging the idea that they're going to make so much money on all of these AI investments. They're going to make money hand over fist, just like NVIDIA is the person selling us the tools to make these things. We're going to be so rich. So I guarantee you there are companies that are borrowing being like, we have to keep up because there's no way all of these companies just have that money sitting around. Because if I know how a company in the average American business works, they don't sit on money for some f reason unless you're apple and then they sit on like trillions of dollars but companies don't do that they borrow everything and when they borrow things and it doesn't work out it blows up and so it's gonna blow up calling it now this is my honey prediction this is my honey seven years from now this is the new <laughs> markiplier honey clip that goes around i'm telling you it's so simple people want something they can't get it because they don't have the money in their pockets they go to someone who does have money and they go like come on let me borrow the money I just watched Uncut Gems, and so, uh, mm. just last night, I had never seen it before, and no spoilers, but, you know, there's a lot of money borrowing going on, and not a lot of paying it back, and so, for most of the time, it's like, that's what's going on. A company goes to company B, and it's like, hey, please, give me some money! And they're like, why? I was like, I'll pay you back. Double! And they're like, well, shit, here you go. Oh, I don't have enough money. Hey, hold on. Come on, give me money, he's gonna give me double! I'll give you double! <laughs> and then it's a chain of doubling, and that's double the dead all the way down. And that's why money is infinite and everyone is wealthy. Thank you, Mark. Woohoo!